things I do need a thumbnail. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my review slash progress update using Kayla and Sienna's Bikini Body Workout Guide 2.0 and I just completed week 20, so basically, I don't know where to start in this video. Um, let's start off with the progress photos first, I guess. I track my progress by weighing myself, taking photos every four weeks with my phone, and measuring my waist, hips, upper thigh, and center thigh with this measuring tape. As you all can tell, I definitely plan this video in advance, but anyway, here is a photo of me at week one, beginning Kayla at Sienna's Bikini Body Workout Guide 1.0, um, and that's the photo I'm going to be using to show my progress because I was doing it every four weeks but honestly I don't feel like you see that much progress every four weeks but when I compare my photos to the first week I see a lot of progress which is awesome so here it is and then compared to my most recent update photo after completing week 20 you can see that I have definitely shedded a lot of fat in my stomach area, I'm starting to see abs, it's really exciting. So basically when I first started out I weighed 147 pounds and today I weigh 140 pounds. I weighed myself this morning before I ate breakfast and that's what I weighed. And for measurements I've lost 3 inches around my waist, 2.5 inches around my hips, 1.5 inches around my upper thigh, and 2.5 inches around my center thigh. So the only difference between week 20 and week 16 is I lost about 2-3 pounds and then um, I've lost a half inch around my hips but other than that my waist, upper thigh, and center thigh has stayed the same. Now comparing week 16 to week 20 I think where I'm seeing the most progress right now is in my arms and in my stomach. To be completely honest my legs have never been the issue and I used to think they were because I've been an athlete my entire life and I have a lot of muscle in my legs and I just hated how bulky they were but using Kayla's guide I've been able to create lean muscle and they've definitely toned down a lot so I'm happy with my legs. It's my stomach and my arms I really want to get defined and I want to shed some fat in my stomach and so I'm seeing a lot of progress there which is really exciting. So for my arms Including Kayla's guide, I've been lifting weights now. I'm using the machines at the gym. And if you follow my vlog, you will see that I'm doing that now. So go check that out. Link will be down below. Um, you can see more of like what I eat every day, my exercises. But anyway, my arms now compared to week 16 and week 20, you can see the difference in my back muscles. So here's a clip from week 16. And then here is a clip from week 20. Um, I see a lot of muscle definition in my back because that's what I'm working on right now in my shoulders. I love working on my shoulders. Shoulder day is awesome. So that's what I'm working on right now with my arms and I think that's why I'm seeing more progress is because I'm pushing myself and challenging myself in the gym with different machines. And I've also increased the weights. I was always doing 10 to 12 pounds, now I'm up to 15 when I'm using the dumbbells and that's been helping also. Now for my stomach, my stomach has always been a problem area. I've always had a lot of like fat there and I've been wanting to shed it and I've been having issues and I think that's why I wasn't able to see a lot of progress using the first guide and I actually get a lot of questions people ask because I didn't use the health guide the nutrition guide um, is, do you think that's why you're not seeing the progress that other people are seeing and to answer all of those questions yes I do think so even though I was eating clean healthy organic I wasn't eating the right foods and I wasn't eating enough and I wasn't eating enough protein or carbs and I talk about that in my last what I eat in a day video um, now I'm counting my macros I'm doing the if it fits in your macros program. I'm using my fitness pal and I'm logging everything and I also just got a new digital kitchen scale and this is by Osiri and so I'm now going to start measuring all my food and stuff like that to be more precise. Ever since I started this whole if it fits your macros plan I've noticed such a difference in my stomach area because I'm starting to see my abs and that's because I'm shedding fat and that's because I'm eating the foods my body needs in order to see that progress. So yeah, I wish I would have purchased the nutrition guide when I first purchased Kayla's guides a year ago, but you know, you can't go back and change that. And so I'm really happy where I am now and I found a program that really works for me. I'm sure the nutrition guide would work for me also and I actually might purchase it and give it a try and review it for you all. But I definitely recommend some type of guideline if you are clueless, like I obviously was. I thought I was doing the right thing and I wasn't. So it's good to do your research. So if you want to do your research, you can check out the nutrition guide that Kayla offers and the link is down below. And there's a discount code for that. So 
save some money. And then I also have a discount code off of any of her bikini body training guides, so go check that out. So that is my most recent update. I have four more weeks to go until I'm done with 2.0, and I can't wait to share all my progress with you all. And I have to say that I am so happy with the results. Compared to where I was day one, I am more lean, more strong, more confident, and I feel like my clothes fit a lot better. I've even had to order a couple clothes in a smaller size, which is really exciting. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm bikini body ready, I feel like. I'm excited for the summer. I'm going to put on that bathing suit and feel very confident and not feel so shy and, you know, in my head put myself down because I'm going to look amazing. And I've earned it and I've worked hard for it. And I think that's what you get from Kayla's Guide. You earn it. And it's all you and you should be proud of yourself and you should totally be like I look good because you do and if you're interested in more information about what I eat every day or the if it fits your macros program or my fitness pal app anything like that check out my other videos I'll link them down below I'm now vlogging every day or every other day in the gym in the kitchen and I'm showing everything so yeah that is all I have for this video be sure to like it comment down below any questions or concerns and subscribe for more fashion fitness and now vlogs and thank you so much for all the support i will see you all in the next one bye loves